Hello YouTube, I finally completed my fire station mock as my city has been out with a fire station for quite some time uh, so I've used two sets to make this one is the corner modular garage and the other is the current fire station um, which I think had a, had a harbour or something next to it anyway um, they've both been destroyed to create this building here so the theme that I went with is um, here we have a historic building been there for many years uh, but as modern technology progresses it needed updating but it's a listed building and you can't touch it so what they've done is added a modern building and attached it to the side so you'll see that the first one sticks out a little bit further than the rest and uh, so you'd have the smaller trucks go in that one and the longer ones will fit into the newer building so this is it from the inside let's move these again and um, going around managed to use the continuation of the bricks which is quite nice usually at the back it's a bit of a hodgepodge um, and that's it really just uh, utilize some of the red bricks just to you know use them and that's it back to the front uh, so here I've used the um, what's it called the town hall modular um, roofing there just to finish it off and I thought I'd give it a nice aged feel with the year uh, that it was built at the top uh, a few of the bricks are starting to show wear and tear uh, so I've got a few um, little brick bricks mixed in at the front and that's it really from the front okay so let's go inside and have a look Okay, so the way I made this was that the historic building is done in the modular vein of um, each floor is separate and can be taken off. But the modern building, I've left as one singular piece, so nothing comes off. Uh, but to access it, you can do it from this side. So with that in mind, we will start here. So we've got access to the roof there. There's a guy just about to go up the ladders where they can go into the uh, fire control system, I suppose you'd call it. And uh, you've got the drone, fire drone there going, uh, ready to go up. Uh, inside you've got um, a plethora of computers and doohickeys. Chief is there, wants to keep his gold helmet on because it's relatively new to him and he's proud of it. So he's uh, sitting at his desk with his tea and his popcorn. The others are working hard with their helmets off. Should have put hair on them, but hey ho. Uh, another computer on this side. And then going down to the ground floor. So down there you've got where the longer fire engine will go in with a few little tools ready to load up. A few cones to stop the people getting too close to the flames. The fire phone, which can be used by the chief with his phone. Where is his phone? Oh no, that phone, um, which can be called down to the ground floor to pass on any messages. And then a little rotor on the staircase there. Here we've got uh, some fire extinguishers. I can't really get a good angle on the fire extinguishers. There you go. Um, and some oxygen tanks. And our guys are just trying out their uniforms, making sure they're all safe. Uh, and then these are the doors for the smaller fire truck to be housed. Okay. Let's now have a look at the next floor. 
Okay, so our firefighters go up those stairs. Here you've got the doorways and access to the modern building with the fire control system. Uh, our um, will be chief one day, can you see through the window? No, that didn't work. Um, our lieutenant there at the kitchen making something. Our extra firefighter there just chilling, watching some TV with his helmet on the helmet stand. And then there you have the famous pole from the top floor, which leads you up these stairs to the bedrooms. So our chief gets a big fancy bed, but the others just get boring normal beds. A uh, little um, wardrobe section there to hang up their clothes. Fish tank from the um, pet shop, which was above the garage. And then the pole for them to get down safely and speedily, should I say. And that's it, quite a simple room, the sleeping area. And then we'll put the roof back on. Okay, so the roof, as I said, was just uh, using the town hall set. Um, slightly different because it's smaller than the modular size, but that's the design I went with. Uh, in the hot days, they can chill out on their deck chairs. You've got a little garden for some of the gardening enthusiasts. Little shed, I suppose, to store stuff in and it takes them through to the new build and their access down. Before the new build was built, of course, there used to be a little staircase down there to take them down, but that's been all bricked up when the new building was built as it was no longer needed. So now it's just a storehouse. And that's it. That's uh, the overview complete. And now we'll see it in its location in the city. Okay, so here's where it's going to go. Don't know if that's going to be final or not. We'll see. So I've had to make some changes, which I showed on the um, the last update. This corner modular, which was the corner garage, is now gone and been demolished. So I haven't got any more corner modules at the moment. So I'm going to have to make some more. I've got one down the far corner and you can see it but it's a small building so i might enlarge it on that i don't know yet so i've just turned the um pizzeria i just made that temporarily something else will go there but the fire station i quite like it there so for now i think it'll go i think it looks nice in the city Fire engines fit in and the doors can close once they're in. Experimenting with um, some few lampposts at the moment. So I've got that design. I've got another design there. And I've got that design as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I've um, paved three studs in front of the fire station at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like that. I don't know if I want a dark curb and a lighter gray paved area or the other way around. So I'm just going to experiment with a few things and uh, put a few of those lampposts up here, which I'm not 100% sure with because I think that you can't really see them because of the color of the road plates. But that's why I'm going to experiment. So thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you uh, like the fire station. And uh, once I've got something else to put on in the city, I will put it on. So thanks again. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you like the fire station. And I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.